Hello, I'm Alan McLaughlin, President of Goldlink Energy. CEOs know the impact of talent on the bottom line. The challenge is identifying and tapping the talent within the organization. Unfortunately, all too often, before that may happen, recruiting may be farmed out to personnel service firms. As an alternative, the best fit for the employee in the company is to develop an in-house career skill training that benefits both. Keeping the training function in-house allows for the company to control development of talent. When considering the financial returns on investment and the time required for seeking candidates outside the company, developing talent within the organization is most cost-effective. Young employees within the company also have an incentive to continue learning which benefits both employee and the company. Young new hires are needed for future growth of the company. A planned transfer of skills developed by the long-term seasoned employee assures orderly, knowledgeable company continuity. Long-term seasoned 55 and older employees have necessary institutional skills, which, when combined with young employees' digital skills, makes for enriched collaboration. Companies wish to retain skilled, talented employees. This may be accomplished by training within the organization. Experienced employees, those 55 and older, are an excellent in-house knowledge source. Some companies, such as IBM, ExxonMobil, Shell, and Chevron, have stepped up to the plate, keeping abreast of the digital age. But they are majors in the industry who spend a great deal of effort in costly recruiting and career guidance. Open market talent recruiting is a hit and miss process, which has a high turnover rate. A toxic employee or a poor fit may damage a company. Mentoring by seasoned company employee improves the chances for the new employee having a successful career.